Hello, in this video we're going to see how we can introduce sorting to a matrix that was created with a calculation group. This is the matrix. As we can see, we have a brand name column plotting the rows of the matrix and the columns are plotted with a calculation group or calculation items coming from a time intelligence calculation group. Above the visual, we can see that we have this sorting option. And as we know, there is no direct option of sorting any of these calculation items. So there is no option even on right click to sort this visual by any of the calculation items. Above the visual, there is a sort matrix by slicer. And if we choose to change these options, we can see that the chart below is actually uh, showing the sort accordingly according to the selected sort by option in the slicer. So now in the following part of the video we, we will explain a technique to introduce this kind of sorting which is not naturally uh, able to create inside of a matrix visual. So let's close this final Power BI file and let's open a starting file. As we can see on the right part we have three tables. If we go to tabular editor we will see that these two are created with these are normal regular tables and this one is created with calculation as a calculation group. So in order to introduce sorting we need to add an additional calculation group. Let's call this one sorting. And inside of it, we will create uh, two additional calculation items. Let's go with year to date this year. And let's another one. Let's add another one, which will be year to date this year versus last year. Okay, so far so good. Uh, to show you the technique, let's head back to the Power BI. And as we can see, if we select this visual, and as we can see, there is no column total. And if even if we go to subtotals options of the visual, we can see that there is no option to enable column subtotals. Actually, that is a good thing because the subtotal or the grand total of the calculation items does not make sense. But although it is not visible, in this option and it and it cannot be enabled for this visual it is still here at the docs level or at the tabular level it is still here and we can use this total to introduce sorting that will follow what is given as the total measure so now let's head back to tabular editor and what we need to do in year to date this year we need to check if any of the calculation items is already applied to a calculation. We will use function called is filtered, and then we will choose to we will ask if time intelligence ordinal if this column is filtered. So if is filtered any of the calculation items. Uh, ordinal is a hidden calculation, uh, is, is a hidden column in the calculation group that is uh, helping us, that is, that, is, uh, that is used to create a sort order for, for the calculation item. And we will use it as a, as a base to check if the calculation item is being applied to the measure. So now if we evaluate this to true, so if it is filtered, if any of the calculation items is filtering the measure, then we want to return that measure. So we'll return selected measure. And in case this is not true, we want to, and in only in one situation it will not be true, and that is the situation on the total of the calculation of the all the calculation items or in the total of the calculation group. And in this situation, we wish to return 
calculate selected measure and for this part we want to use we'll, we'll use sideways recursion so we will create a calculate selected measure where time intelligence time intelligence uh, periods equals year to date this year okay let's close let's check if the docs is correctly written uh, i think we need another bracket okay so now this is fine and we will confirm now let's uh, copy the same uh, this uh, this formula and let's paste it into year to date this year versus last year and now what we want to do we want to change only the part of the total so we wish to change so that if it's uh, not filtered if the ordinal is not filtered we wish to return year to date this year versus year to date last year uh, year to date this year and last year are the names of the calculation items in the time intelligence calculation group let's check if everything is fine and let's go to file and save to bring back this uh, calculation group to the power bi so far so good now what we can do we can add this calculation uh, calculation group column to a canvas and we can choose to change this to a slicer and let's select a drop down at the moment there is uh, nothing will happen in case we choose to filter actually it will happen but it should not it should be should not be happening yeah because i forgot to change this so uh, generally uh, the default option for filtering uh, for sorting would be to sort by brand and that is uh, to sort by uh, the uh, the row row uh, to, to sort by column that is plotted that is plotting the row segment and at the moment as we can see nothing is happening no no change in sort order is happening what we need to do to introduce the sort to uh, let's say link this slicer to a uh, visual is that we need to change this sort by option from brand to a total quantity and now because the total quantity is actually the hidden total of this calculation group it is it is going to accept what we select in the uh, in the in this uh, in the cr newly created calculation group so now we can see that after we select different types of uh, sorting it will be applied to the metrics below so now to conclude there is a possibility to introduce uh, sorting in the calculation uh, in the matrix created created with calculation groups but we need to add an additional uh, calculation group and we need to introduce uh, is filtering option to check if the names or the of the calculation or if the calculation items are already filtering the table and in that case we do not want to do anything we just want to return the selected measure and in the case they are not filtering and that means that we are at the total which is not visible but it is there then we wish to return a modified select measure or we wish to to, to return the, the the specific measure that we created for that for that uh, uh, slicer for that option in the slicer or for that calculation item so yeah that was all for this video hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions please post them down below and if you like this channel please subscribe and like the, the video and see you in the uh, next video bye